guys, let's talk about string gauge today. Um, I'm here in the hotel room and just wanted to put out some videos. Um, come across a lot of string gauge videos, but I have a problem with most of them. A lot of them are mostly rhythm players, uh, predominantly rhythm players that are discussing their string gauges, like uh, Fluff, you know, Beards and Gear. Love that channel, but his uh, string gauge recommendations are for him and for being a rhythm player a little bit thick for what I prefer. I am a lead and rhythm player, but I will just say that for the video, I'm a lead player. And uh, I'll just go over the kind of sets of strings that I recommend for whatever tuning I'm playing in. Like this guitar is in uh, E standard tuning with a 25 and a half inch scale length. I would um, prefer a set of nines on this. And if it's going to be a metal guitar, which this one's mostly a bluesy guitar. <laughs> Nine to forty twos are fine, but if I'm going to be playing rock or metal on, which I play on most of my guitars, I do play rock and metal. Uh, I would actually uh, recommend the nine to forty six hybrid set because it gives you a little bit more, a little bit more tension on your low strings for that pick attack. So you can really dig in and get more out of your tone. Um, I would also use the nine to forty six in drop D. Um, and uh, once you get down to a half step down, I would also recommend the 9 to 46. Definitely the 46 on a half step down. You're, uh, at that point, your 9s are getting a little slinky, but I still prefer them in half step down. Once I get to a whole step down in D standard, that's when I really shift and I go down to a 10 to 52 set in D standard. Uh, and that, that goes for Gibson scale and uh, 25 and a half inch Fender scale. 10 to 52s work great for uh, D standard and drop C. Once I would get to C standard, I would do a set of 11s, 11 to 54 for C standard. And if I'm going drop B on a six string, which I, I wouldn't, I would just use a seven string at that point. But let's just say you're doing drop B on a six uh, you can still use that 11 to 54 set, but take that 54 and maybe uh, put a 60 on the uh, lowest string. So it give you more tension because a 54 is really too light for a B on a six string regular scale length guitar. Um, let's move on over to, uh, and then anything lower than uh, drop B on a six string is kind of not really my thing. I'll switch over to a set. This is a seven string. It's got a 26 and a half inch scale. This is a Schecter. Um, and this is an a, a drop A. If I'm doing um, drop A or B standard on a, six, a seven string guitar with a 26 and a half inch scale length, what I'm really using using is a set of nines for the first six, for these six, just rank regular nine to forty two set gauge strings, and then I order string joy. I, I order singles, and this is a sixty four on the uh, A string. <laughs> recommend at least a 60 on this uh, B and A string on uh, the 7 string. If I'm going uh, drop G or A standard then you're going to have to go a 10 to uh, 52 set and then like a 68 on your low G or A string. But uh, then I haven't really experimented with lower than that but yeah that's my recommendations. Um, for lead playing, because a lot of the like fluff likes burly slinkies on like drop D and stuff. I mean that's like it's really hard to bend when you're using that type of gauge string on a guitar. So hope this helps people out. I've had people asking some of my videos what gauges I use, but that, those are the gauges that I use. I hope uh, you find that informational, and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching.